So this tutorial is about um, downloading and fixing up Reshade. And so uh, the way that I get, or the way I got Reshade was going to um, picture a Mobe's Tumblr because she has a um, lighting mod called Height of Summer. So the Reshade that would, that we need to download, I could not find on Reshade's um, website. So I had to go through her Tumblr. So here we're going to download Reshape plus the framework. And even she makes a note that um, to follow this download link and not to download the latest version of Reshape. So we're going to download this one. So, um, you can also download Heights of Summer, um, which has some, some nice presets that you could use. I have used Heights of Summer, but then I decided to just use Reshade and see how that works out. Um, so, so far I'm just using Reshade. So, we're going to open that up, and we're going to go to Reshade Setup. So, click that. And what that's going to do is, um, I think it's going to load up the game like it's gonna do whatever it needs to do for the game but it's also gonna add in files into the, the bin folder so we're gonna select the game and right now I'm in um, I'm in my computer C program files origin games sims 4 game I say fail, so all we do is just change it to direct D9. Yes, and right. So we're not going to run it right now because we haven't set anything, so we're just going to exit out of there. Then we're going to navigate to our bin folder, which I have a shortcut for. So here it's already added in reshade. Um, so you go into there and you'll see some some files which you can you can um, change presets in. So let's open them. Change some things here. Custom. Gen. NC. And this is like, which is what I'm working on now. So basically, if you want something to be turned on, you change it from a zero to a one. So let's say we want to look at what uh, explosion looks like. So we'll change the explosion zero to one. Then we'll save it. And then we'll open up the game. See, look at that. The only thing here, though, is whatever you do, it's going to do it to your menus and everything. So now we're having like explosion of pixels, but it's everything is exploded, the whole screen. So it's not just gonna be good. It's not gonna just ignore the menus. Everything will take the the filter that you used. So we'll try something else. So if I want to take turn it off. Again, zero then I'm gonna look at something else so let's look at uh, monochrome we're gonna save it So basically, you just whatever setting you want to do, it's just zero to one. You want to 
turn off the one through here. So the settings that I have in my room so I have turn that back to zero. I have GPS one. I have filmic pass one. And I have dither one. Maybe do split screen. Maybe I want to see if that will. You can see the um, difference in my. Well, I've never used it before, so I don't know. Since it says partially working, so let's see if it will go work now. Turn off the desert. So on the right side of the screen is my settings, and then on the left is the uh, original. So, can you see the difference here? Again, on the left is the original, on the right is the, uh, the preset. I think it's my um, video recording, because as I was playing, it was not very slow lag, so don't worry. Sully, you're not going to get any more lag. <laughs> but. So, just uh, play around with the presets. If you download how to summer, you get some really, really, really nice presets. Um, well, so, you know, if you just want to do reshade, this is, this is it. So, I, I don't, I haven't really messed with the other files. Um, but. That's it. I hope it works for you.